Welcome to Make Thrift Buy. This is the show where you guys send in clothes that you found on the internet and then I do my best to recreate them. So today's episode is definitely gonna be one of the weirder things that I've tried to recreate on this show so far. But so many of you have been suggesting this cat keyhole bra. Apparently this bra became so popular on the internet at the start of the year that it even has its own page on knowyourmeme.com. It originally appeared on the store Nanori on Taobao, but it can now be found all over the internet from eBay to Amazon and wholesale places like Store Envy and AliExpress. Hang on. What? Sir, this is a very good candidate for a make thrift buy. Sir, let's try and make this for ourselves. So you can skip ahead to here if you want to see how I eventually ended up making this. But initially I decided that I would try and make this out of stretchy material like jersey. This was in order to get that cleavage thing happening without having to use tape or a push up stick on bra or whatever is going on in these photos because boobs don't just go like that. This defies the laws of physics. So I wanted to use stretchy fabric in order to generate that amount of cleavage, which if I'm being honest, I think is the main selling point of this bra. However, this just didn't work out so well. After about five hours of my life that I'll never get back and two different attempts, I just wasn't getting the result that I wanted. I was having a lot of problems with the stretch of the material warping the cat cut out and it just wasn't looking like how I wanted it to look. So in the end, I gave up on that and then I went for some cotton and yeah, I'm gonna have to use boob tape. So, the first thing that I did on this third and final attempt at making this cat bra was to measure around my shoulders. I'm doing this because I'm not using stretchy fabric, so I want to make sure that I can get the bra on over my shoulders. This measurement came out at 40 inches. I halved this measurement to get 20 inches and then added one inch for seam allowance. Then, with a piece of black cotton fabric, I folded this over and drew a rectangle that was the previous measurement, 21 inches wide and 10 inches long. I made these marks with chalk because this will just rub off the fabric when I'm done. Next, I cut across here and here through both layers of fabric using my rotary cutter. And with the piece still folded in half, I sewed down here. This created a loop of fabric, which I then tested to make sure I could get it on over my shoulders. And in fact, I was able to get it on really easily. So I'm actually going to sew further in on the side seam. When this was the right size, I cut the fabric close to the new seam. Then I drew an outline of a kitty cat head in the middle of the fabric with some chalk. I then cut out a piece of fusible interfacing, which was just a little bit bigger than the cat outline. The interfacing will be useful in helping the cutout to maintain its shape. I then iron this interfacing fusible side down with a t-shirt over the top to protect the interfacing from my iron. And then I ironed using some pressure for about 30 seconds until the interfacing was fused onto the fabric. The next thing that I did was to sew around the chalk line, still visible through the interfacing, using a very short zigzag stitch. I did this very slowly and carefully, taking care on the rounded corners and stopping and rotating my needle at the sharp corners. And on the right side of the fabric, I ended up with this. Next, I'm using the same trick that I did on the DIY patches in episode 37. I got a little bit of fabric glue and I dabbed this around the edges on the inside of the stitching. The idea of this is to stop any fraying later on when I cut this cat shape out. A product like Fray Check will also work just as well. Just don't use craft glue. While I was waiting for the fabric glue to dry, I decided that I would move on to the next step, hemming the top and the bottom of the bra. To do this, I flipped it inside out again, and then I folded both the top and the bottom edges down about half an inch like this. And then I sewed over the top of this using a straight stitch all the way around the bra. Once I'd done that, the fabric glue had dried. So the next step was to cut out the cat cut out. With some scissors, I went very carefully around the inside of the cat outline, being careful not to cut through the stitches, but just next to them. And here is my cat cut out. Next, I needed to elasticate the top and the bottom of the bra to make this thing fit. So with a piece of elastic in whatever color I want because it's gonna be sewn on the inside, I first wrapped this above my breast to get the top elastic length. I pull the elastic tight so that it stretches, but not so tight that it's uncomfortable. And then I cut it to this length. Then I do the same thing with a new piece of elastic underneath my breasts. And this is going to be my bottom piece of elastic. The top piece of elastic is going to be attached up here and the bottom piece of elastic will be attached down here, except they're gonna be attached on the inside of the bra. First things first, I sew each piece of elastic into a loop which I basically do by attaching the ends to each other with two short zigzag stitches. Next, and this seems to be becoming a familiar theme in my videos, I'm going to quarter both the elastic and the top of the bra with pins. And the bra fabric is inside out for this step. Then with the elastic on top of the wrong side of the fabric, 
With one set of pins matching up, I stretched the elastic so that the next set of pins matched up as well. Then I removed the pins so that I wouldn't sew over the top of them, did a small back stitch, and then I sewed the elastic to the fabric using a straight stitch. While sewing, I made sure that my needle was right over at this far edge of the elastic. The elastic itself is a couple of inches away from the hem. And the entire time I was sewing, I was also stretching the elastic so that the next set of pins matched up. Then, when I reached this next set of pins, I basically repeated this process until I had sewn the elastic on all the way around the loop of fabric. Then I set the sewing foot back down on top of the elastic, but I set the needle to the left so that I would be sewing through the far left edge of the elastic. And then I sewed all the way around the elastic once again, stretching the elastic as I went so that the fabric wasn't bunched up the entire time. Then I repeated these exact steps on the bottom of the bra and I ended up with this. At this point I realized that I'd totally forgotten to sew on the whiskers. To unbunch the fabric around the cutout, I threw it into an embroidery hoop. Then I drew whiskers on with chalk like this and I sewed over these lines using a zigzag stitch. Just remember, if you're making this DIY, do this part before sewing in your elastic. Anyway, it still worked out in the end. The last step is making straps and I'm going to make these tie up like on the original. To do this, I grabbed my black cotton fabric and I drew out four long, narrow rectangles with identical dimensions of 3 inches by 20 inches. And I cut these out. I then folded each piece like this. Now watch carefully by folding the edges in to meet at the middle and then folding this over in half lengthways. And then I sewed down this side of the strap all the way down the strap like this. To make the ends of the strap nice, I folded them over twice and I stitched across here. Then, to attach the straps to the bra, I slid one end of the strap inside the bra, underneath the elastic, placed about where I think the strap should go, and then I pinned this in place. I did the exact same thing for the two straps at the back by flipping the bra around so that it's back to front and then placing these last two straps on just like I did for the front straps. Then I sew the straps on, on top of the elastic inside the bra by stretching out the elastic while sewing. I also sew the strap on at two points, on top of those left and right stitches on the elastic to make sure that it's really secure. Then I simply repeat this for all four straps and I'm done. So, how did I go? So, this is what the bra looks like. What have you guys made me do? This bra is pretty weird. Still, I think I did a pretty good job. But hang on, hold up one second. It's not exactly right just yet. Where's the ridiculous amount of cleavage at? Yeah, that's more. That's, hmm. So now I'm feeling a bit awkward because, well, I think I did this a little bit too well. I mean, my parents are probably watching this and, oh God, I think I have old high school teachers who watch this. No, no, stop, stop this now. I'm going to diffuse this awkward situation with this music. I'll also just choose all my most awkward shots as well. Cool. Okay. No more accidental sexiness. This is a family-friendly DIY channel, people. Let's keep it that way. But anyway, you guys asked for this item and this is what it looks like. Kind of. If you're willing to tape your boobs together. Also, this. No, but seriously, this cat looks like has a butt for a face. So, I did it! I made this really strange bra, which to be honest, I'm never going to wear. Ever. Just remember, if you want that cleavage, um, unless you have the most physics-defying perky breasts of all history, you're gonna have to use something like boob tape. Thanks for watching, and if you wanna post your own attempt at this or any of the other tutorials that I've made, then use the hashtag DIYAnnika on Instagram so that I can see it. Follow me on these places if you would like, and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye! Shout out to my amazing supporters on Patreon whose support basically keeps these series going. To support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. <laughs> no, no. I can't even pretend to be sexy. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm wearing slippers. I mean